okay I've not done a video for a while so I thought I'd do this one um, it's a little macro that I've written to export things quickly because uh, it's getting frustrating to be making this, the same moves over and over again to sort of export rings now most of the stuff I'm printing now so just needs a sprue putting onto it <coughs> it won't work for every ring but a big percentage of them are similar so it works for them um, so this is a ring that we want to um, that we want to cast to print so bring it into that mode um, now the um, mill grain and the stones basically I'll just put marker holes in it'll all be applied by hand later on I think it looks a bit better uh, so that's a render model so I'll bring in the model that we want to um, work on which is this one um, now as well I'd probably do this in two pieces um, but for the video I'll just well I would do it in two pieces but for the video I'm just going to do it in one because it's quicker to show you um, so put into full view um, now this button here this this um, um, toolbar here has got Peter's tools which has some really really cool things on um, it's a free download from um, from Rhino uh, um, you can donate as well um, which is really good so I've added a couple of um, buttons here one of them being this STL export um, because that was the other thing you, when you export and you have a great big list of things if you save something for the job bag it um, takes it away from the sort of the sticky of where you want it saving so you have to go rooting for it selecting STL every time and it gets a bit a bit tedious so I thought I'd make it simple uh, so we press the button um, and it's saying select objects to export as STL so we want those um, and now it's asking us for a base of the cylinder which is going to be a sprue so we just put that something like that yeah, now that's 2.1 milli I think which sort of works for pretty much everything I do um, well not everything but a good, a good majority of them um, <coughs> so I go back into full view so now it's asking um, select objects to export so well, let's say we want everything um, press enter um, what it's done is it's locked the original ring and it's made a copy of it um, it's, and it's moved everything around so it lies better on the 3D printer um, probably I'll have to turn that a little bit but when varying head sizes it's, it's easy just to do it in the, in the printer software but that, that gets us there a bit quicker anyway um, <coughs> So now it's um, it's asking for text. So um, I'll put um, 3D cab. Um, oops. Enter that. So that's brought that out. So we want that on the sprue. So each job put a job number and usually what mail. Um, it's to be casting just so it's easier when you come off the printer to sort stuff into the piles. Um, onto your trees, so pop that on there. Um, now it's select objects, so everything you want, we need to add that to it. Um, press and press went done. Um, and all that's doing now is meshing everything, so it's um, one solid mesh, GV mesh tool, um, and then whatever number three, uh, something like that. And that meshes it now and um, saves it as an STL and then takes you back to the original one so that's it really but it saves a bit of time it's easy to do uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you um, the code to doing it is um, edit script so yeah uh, Basically, um, it's just little um, subsections, move, change, puts everything onto a layer. Um, 
different layer and bring in another. That's a mesh export, that's a layer that it goes on to. So, yeah. So there we are. I hope that sort of helps us somewhat. Cheers now, bye.